In this movie, you will see how to work with the orientations and categories of space boundaries. Let's display the Energy Model Review Palette on the screen and switch to its Structures page. Here are all the zone boundaries of the design project. Zone boundaries are the surface that envelopes zones. According to the zone's position within the thermal block, zone boundaries are classified as either internal or external thermal block boundaries. First, let's have a closer look at the categories of zone boundaries. We will display the Options, Work Environment, On Screen Options dialog. Here you can see the Energy Evaluation Model Review Colors page. These are colors associated with the various zone boundary structures. According to their position relative to the external environment, thermal block boundaries are classified as either opaque or transparent. ARCHICAD's Energy Evaluation differentiates between the following opaque thermal block boundary categories. External Floor at or above grade floor below grade, underground, or internal. Openings is a transparent thermal block boundary category. This appears on the openings page of the Energy Model Review palette. The color display of the external zone boundary structures can be modified using the color palette. These colors will be used to display the zone boundaries in the 3D window. Let's display the energy model in 3D by clicking the Show Selected Item in 3D button and have a closer look at the previously explained zone boundary colors. Let's select all the external slabs in the Structures page of the Energy Model Review Palette to display these in the 3D window. Let's deselect the slabs and select all the external wall zone boundaries in the Energy Model Review Palette. The external wall boundaries will be displayed in the 3D window. Let's proceed and display all the floors at or above grade slabs, having the slab on grade orientation in the 3D window. Please note that these slabs are displayed with slightly differentiated colors, even though they all belong to the same zone boundary type and category. Floor on ground and underground type thermal blocks boundaries are color coded according to their distances relative to the external environment. External thermal block boundaries are shaded using five different color shades according to the altitude component of their orientations. These color coded codes are also visible in the Energy Model Review Palette. The corresponding zone boundary structures can be individually selected and displayed in the 3D view. The lighter blue color indicates that the selected office thermal block zone boundary is closer to an external boundary structure than the office and circulation boundaries that are represented with a darker shade of the same blue color. There is only one floor slab below grade with the underground orientation. This is the slab of the elevator shaft and it's indicated with a dark purple color in the 3D view. The vertical walls of the same elevator shaft belong to the underground wall boundaries and are displayed in gray in 3D. All the internal opaque structures of the building are displayed by different shades of green in this project. Let's proceed and have a closer look at the orientation of the external opaque zone boundaries. Orientation means the direction of an envelope element face. This is numerically defined by the direction of the vector, perpendicular to and pointing away from the surface outside of the element. Orientations are automatically defined. However, please make sure that all the project environment related settings are carefully adjusted at the environment settings dialog. The Project Location dialog enables designers to adjust the latitude, longitude, and attitude of the building, define time zone, and precisely define the project's north angle.
Let's proceed and display the opening page of the Energy Evaluation Review Palette. The Categories column is missing here, since all openings belong to the same zone boundary category. The orientation of the openings will be automatically calculated based on the data entered at the Environment Settings dialog. Not only the external transparent windows and doors, but also roofs and curtain wall panels will be listed in this page. Please note that transparent curtain wall panels will be classified as openings, while opaque curtain wall panels as structures. As you can see, the slanted transparent roof element above the building entrance is also visible in this list as well as in the 3D view. Thermal block boundaries can have a horizontal orientation. Such elements will be displayed with an upward orientation type in this dialog. Let's select all the opening thermal block boundaries with the southwest orientation in the list to highlight these in the 3D window. To do such orientation-based selections, it's recommended to sort the list by orientation. This can be done by clicking the orientation column title at the top. Please note that only those openings will be considered in the building energy calculations which belong to a thermal block boundary. Openings having an inner orientation represent only minor heat storage capacity, and these elements will not be considered in the energy calculations.